Hare Krishna everyone, welcome to Shikshashtakam series part 4. In the previous video, we discussed the second verse wherein the disqualification for us to chant the holy names of the Lord was described. And in this particular verse, the third shloka, very, very, very important shloka, the qualification or specifically the four requirements for one to chant the holy names of the Lord always, those are listed. But before we take a deep dive, please join me in chanting the shloka and then we will get into it. Trinadapi suni chena, tarorapi sahishnuna, amani namana dena, kirtaniya sadahari. Kirtaniya sadahari. For glorifying the Lord, sada always. The very first requirement is Trinad Api Suni Chena. Trina means a blade of grass. Nicha means low. Sunicha means very low. So is Mahaprabhu telling us that think of yourself as lowly as the grass? No, he's demanding more. That is why he's put the word Api. Trinad Api means think of yourself as lower than a blade of grass. So we see when the great storms hit, even big, big trees get uprooted. But the grass will survive. How come? Because it has this ability to bow down in humility. So when the storm comes, the blade of grass will just bow down. It will put itself down and wait for the storm to pass. And once it has passed, then it will rise back up. So humility is such a great quality. In fact, this whole shloka is so important that I'm going to take a little bit more time to uh, explain things in a better way. So Krishna in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, several times he's glorifying this characteristic of humility. In chapter 13, shloka number 8, in answering the question of Arjuna as to what knowledge is, the very first quality Krishna talks about in 13.8 is Amanitvam Adambitvam, Amanitvam, humility. And Prabhupada writes a brilliant line. In one line, he describes what is humility in the purport. Humility means that one should not be anxious to have the satisfaction of being honored by others. And similarly, Krishna, again in chapter 16, the Ivasura Sampada Yoga, the opposite of humility is pride and pride is a demoniac quality. So while listing the demoniac qualities, the very first quality Krishna lists in 16.4, Dambo Dharpo Bhimanascha, Damba and Dharpa, both are indicating pride. So where does this thing called pride come from? For that, let's go to Srimad Bhagavatam, Kento 1, Chapter 8, Shloka 26. Queen Kunti, in her prayers to the Supreme Lord, she is saying, Janmaishwarya Shruta Shri Ber Edamanamadapuman. Janma, birth. Aishwarya, opulence. Shruta, education. Shri, beauty. So these are some common things from which pride can come. And what happens to Puman, human being? Mada, they get intoxicated with pride. So a very demoniac quality and Krishna absolutely does not like this quality of pride among anybody, even his devotees. The moment a little bit of pride comes, Krishna will smash that pride like he did for Indra, like he did for the Yagnik Brahmanas, like he did for Trinavarta, like he did for Nalakuvera, Manikriva, pride of any type. Krishna will smash it. And on the contrary, we see that there are devotees like Sanatana Goswami. Now Sanatana Goswami was born into a Saraswata Brahmin family, not just a Brahmin family, but a high class, high grade Brahmin family, Saraswata Brahmin family. He knew 18,000 shlokas of Bhagavatam by heart. Imagine that. And he was working for King Nawab Hussain Shah, who was the ruler at the time. And both he and his brothers held very high positions. One of them was a prime minister and the other was a finance minister. And the kind of wealth they possessed that his brother Rupa Goswami, when he left the position, when he resigned, he carried boatload of gold coins. Now, somebody who is born into such a great family, who is so scholarly, uh, who could speak 13 languages fluently, 
you know what he is saying when he met chaitanya mahaprabhu he is saying nicha jati nicha sangin he is considering as a lowly birth and lowly association and he is saying i don't know who i am somebody who knows 18000 shlokas of bhagavata imagine he is saying i don't know who i am so is he faking humility not at all it's genuine humility that's how they feel we see this uh, as a characteristic of many vaishnava acharyas in their songs they are describing how lowly they are but they are not suffering from low self esteem so this is a myth humility does not mean low self esteem it does not mean inferiority complex it does not necessarily uh, you know mean putting oneself down but instead what it means is thinking less of oneself thinking more of krishna that is humility and that's why we see whether it is prabhupad or whether it is so many other acharyas they were so ambitious but not ambitious for themselves they were ambitious for the pleasure of krishna and prabhupad their confidence came not in their own ability talent skill instead their confidence and faith came from krishna's empowerment being used as an instrument in the divine hands of the most expert hands krishna so this is humility so that is why it is said whether it is a tree that is laden with fruits or a man or a woman who is decorated with good qualities both bow down with humility so this is the very first quality uh, having the quality of humility for us to chant the holy names now second quality taro rapi sahishnuna taro means tree sahishnuta tolerance so what can we learn from the tree uh, that we can uh, learn the quality of tolerance to become more tolerant than the tree and this uh, tolerance is such an amazing quality that in bhagavad gita chapter 2 shloka 15 krishna is telling arjuna matra sparshastu kaunteya shitoshna sukha dukkada agama paino nitya stam stitikshasva bharata so krishna is saying just like the summer and winter these two things the dualities of the material world happiness and distress sukha and dukkha agama apayana it comes and goes anitya both of them are temporary so what can we do krishna is telling titikshasva tolerate tolerate dukkha tolerate sukha as well many a times it's relatively easy to tolerate dukkha it is more difficult to tolerate sukha people get so elated and end up committing a lot of offenses during this time so tisikshaswa tolerance is the solution given by krishna to arjuna and we see whether it was in the case of haridas takur who was beaten in 21 market places why was he beaten simply because he was chanting the names of god and what did haridas takur do he just tolerated titikshaswa or whether it is prahlad maharaj tortured by his own father in umpteen different ways to kill him and what did prahlad do tolerate titikshaswa shrila prabhupad my glorious spiritual master when he went to the west at the ripe old age of uh, uh, 70 years he had to stay in uh, this family uh, in the house of this family where in the refrigerator he saw meat imagine a sanyasi a pure devotee of the lord going all the way from the holy place of rindavan who is so pure in his habits and to see meat in the refrigerator where he was living what did he do titikshaswa he just told uh, the family member the person that uh, that was sally he told her think nothing of it how tolerant think nothing of it so tolerance is such a glorious quality and how can we tolerate what is the definition of tolerance keeping small things small so we can focus on the big thing for example let's say uh, somebody is admitted in the hospital now what is the big thing what is the major thing what is the focus while in the hospital to get cured and to get out of the hospital as quickly as possible but instead if the person during his stay for a week or two in the hospital if he is thinking 
this nurse is not good i need to get her changed this doctor is not good this facility is not good well the color of that wall is not to my liking i need to get that changed the policies of this hospital need to be uh, you know uh, fixed why should you be bothered with all these things that's none of your business your business is to get cured as quickly as possible and get out and similarly our business in this material world is get cured of the material disease to realize god to realize have self realization and to get out of this material world instead we become so fixated this person is like this that thing is like this my job is like this something else is like this my house is like this my car is like this so many small things and because we are focused on the small things we lose sight of the big thing so what is krishna saying tolerate the small things and keep your focus on the big thing this is why tolerance is a running theme all through bhagavad gita tolerate 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 because this is a material world it is filled with dualities if we try to fix everything change everything well good luck so taror api sahishnuna become more tolerant than a tree just like a tree it is so tolerant whether it is scorching heat or freezing cold it tolerates if you don't give water it doesn't demand for it even if somebody takes an axe and cuts the tree it does not rebel tolerance so first quality humility second quality tolerance and the third quality amanina don't expect respect from others how difficult is that right we all want to be treated a certain way spoken to in certain way everybody is interested in puja pratishta labha puja honor me worship me pratishta i am special i am distinct and the whole world is after distinction whether you are boarding a plane a business class economy class or whether you become a member of some club there is the gold membership silver membership bronze membership distinction you are special vip vvip and labha what's in it for me but here krishna is saying no don't expect any respect for anybody and the final blow my dear friends the fourth quality manadena always be ready to give all respect to everybody else everybody else how difficult is that but it's not impossible and when can we give respect to everybody else as krishna says in bhagavad gita chapter 5 shloka 18 विद्यानय संपन्ने ब्राह्मणे गिहस्तिनी शुनि चवके पंडिता समदर्शिण विद्या विनय संपन्ने विद्या द मोमेंट वी हैव नॉलेज दट इज स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज इट विल बी हैविंग विनय दट इज ह्यूमिलिटी एंड देन वंस विद्या विनय संपन्ने then we will start seeing whether it is a brahmana whether it is a cow whether it is an elephant whether it is a dog whether it is a dog eater pandita samadarshinaha will be able to see everybody equally why because we are seeing them for who they really are that is as a spirit soul part and parcel of krishna just like you just like me and we can give respect due respect to everybody so whether somebody is a friend somebody is an enemy somebody is an animal body tree body insect body human body whatever everybody is a spirit soul so give respect to everybody so there we go these are the four qualities four requirements humility tolerance don't expect respect for oneself but be ready to always give respect to everyone else then we can do kirtaniya sada hari and the converse is also true if we are chanting the holy names of the lord at all times kirtaniya sada hari then all these four qualities will manifest okay so we have to be extremely thankful to prabhupad because when prabhupad first gave initiation in new york to his first set of uh, close disciples they didn't even know what the vows were like we take the 4 plus 1 right four no's and one yes that four regulative principles no meat eating no intoxication no illicit relationship and no gambling and the one yes is that we will chant minimum 16 rounds but when these first set of disciples uh, they took diksha initiation they didn't even know these words 
After they took the Diksha, then Prabhupada told them, by the way, you have to follow these things. But at that time, Prabhupada told them, you're supposed to chant 64 rounds. And these disciples said, 64 rounds? That's going to take us eight hours. We cannot do that. So Prabhupada then reduced it to 32. And these disciples said, Prabhupada, that is also too much. Then finally, Prabhupada, out of his costless mercy, he said, well, minimum 16, no lower than that. So even while uh, during other initiation ceremonies, there are so many times when disciples would say 16, I, I take a vow that I will chant 16 rounds for the rest of my life. Prabhupada would say minimum 16. So we should always keep that mind minimum 16 because the goal is to chant always. It's only Prabhupada's mercy that he's brought, brought it down to minimum 16. But we have to do as much as possible. Okay. So I hope... Uh, you found this video meaningful uh, in that we have covered so much about these four qualities. So let's all pray to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, pray to Prabhupada and through their mercy, maybe consciously strive to develop these amazing qualities. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami says that if one wears, not if one, one should wear this as the necklace around their neck, only then can they chant the holy names. The necklace with the uh, gems, ornaments of uh, humility, tolerance, amanina, manadena. Then Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami says one can attain the ultimate perfection. Okay. So I'll see you in the next video. We will get into another beautiful verse. But uh, until then, let's keep uh, doing Kirtaniya Sada Hari. Shri, La, Ch uh, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki jai, Jagat Guru Shri La Prabhupada ki jai, Harinam Sankirtan ki jai, Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bol, Hare Krishna. Click the link below in the description to join Aradhana Online's official WhatsApp group to get access to more such motivational videos, inspirational quotes and latest updates. Thank you.